Well, we, we have a normal class. We may have five in a class or 10 in a class, but not much more than that, maybe 12 in a class. But they're classes. Um, once again, it depends upon the student availability. And they're not always in the same class with the same students during the week. Um, and we tell students that you're, they're working on their own skills. So it doesn't matter if a ninth grader is in with a 12th grader. They're using their own textbooks. The concept is the same. The skills that we're teaching are the same. And that each student's working on their own strategies. And that's what we do in the course. If somebody needs extra help, the teacher would be available. All they have to do is let the teacher know, gee, I, I'm not sure I get this, I'm not, I'm not sure I'm understanding it, or I need more help in this area, and then Abby will work something out to give them some additional time. Yeah, if you, in the workbook, if there's a section on math and science, um, and you'll see some strategies in there, especially about how to figure out word problems, uh, how to figure out what the teacher's asking. We don't do math, okay, we're not going to go do the math, but we're going to do how do you study math? What sorts of things are you looking for in working out problems, for example? So when you get a chance, look at the workbook and you'll see some of the things. That, but we do talk about it. We also talk about foreign languages and how you, how you work with that as well. The, the problems that you're doing in a, uh, an Algebra 2 class, and you're seeing that you need to be reading uh, pages 89 and 93 and doing the odds right after that, the steps that are in there, written out in sequential form, to be able to look and see what the problems look like, to come back and see the steps that are there, to ask questions about what, that, what those steps mean, to relate that back and be looking at the notes that you did in class that related to that. There's a lot of skill that goes, goes on with that, that kids don't often just do naturally. And so I think that's where the They just tell you their confidence. You, you can see it. You'll feel it. They'll, their grades will improve. They'll feel better about what they're, what they're doing and how they're doing it. Ask them the four questions. You wrote down the questions. Ask them. What did you learn today? How will you use this in your homework? How will you, how will you apply it? If they can answer those things, you're good to go. And they're getting it. But you'll feel it. You'll see it. We survey our kids after this program as well. What was this experience like for you? What kinds of feedback can you give us that help? And that's one of the reasons that we do keep coming back. Number one, um, uh, Steve and his group send us tremendous teachers teachers that, that fit in very much with the, the, the Brooks community. And he knows that and, <laughs> and sends us his very best. Um, and, and that's, that's why we're, we're engaged in this kind of a, a thing. But, but the other thing is that the feedback that we get from kids is very specific about how it helps them. About, and confidence is often uh, something that they speak of. The, the biggest piece that at least Lance Latham and I have, have seen in the responses is the student's attitude in coming into it, right? And so they want to be there. They are willing to put the, the kind of commitment into doing it. They're going to get a lot out of it. If they're there because you're telling them they have to go and they really don't want to go, we may be limited in, in what can come out of that. But that's true with, with whatever we do. So you know, partly we want to have them committed to, to doing this, that this is an important thing. You know, I think the, uh, the point that this is, uh, this is not, these may feel to us as, as a skills that we had to learn and we figured it out and we did. I don't know about you, I figured it out the hard way and did the trial and error method and was probably well into my college career at Colby before I really figured out, ooh, I need to do this in a different way to make it worthwhile. Um, and I think that's a great benefit that can happen, that it happens early on. Um, but I would also say that, uh, uh, that, that a confidence that comes from uh, being able to approach studies in a way that uh, makes them feel like uh, they have a better handle on going into that class, on dealing with 
uh, the independence of being at home in a study hour and working with their text and being able to ask questions without a study guide necessarily, to be able to create their own study guide for working. They're, they're really moving forward. Um, and those are, those are, again, things that, that last a lifetime. And the last thing I would say is that um, this is not, if, if kids are thinking about this as a way of fixing something that's broken, if they feel like they're broken, right, and that's where a loss of confidence can often come from. I need fixing. If that's the way they're entering into this, it's probably not going to work. But if they think about this as saying, look, this is a resource that's available to me, and it's a wise person that's going to actually use the resources that are available to be more successful, that kind of attitude makes it. It's a mix, it really is. We do have you know, some of our top students that have taken this that have, that have pushed them further and it's been helpful for them. Um, I would say the majority of kids that are taking this are the kids that are right in the middle. You know, the, kids that, the kids that do the best with this are the kids who are pluggers, but they sometimes have been plugging really hard and not necessarily getting where they want to get. And that can be frustrating. And that's the kind of kid I think that this is really helpful because they're already coming into it with an attitude of diligence and a little bit of tenacity, but they might be a little bit frustrated because the skills that they have to be able to take on the more challenging curricula that happens as you work your way through the Brooks uh, community, um, this, this gets them over some of those hurdles. It gets them into um, a, a better place and more confident place, and, uh, and it shows. If, if the goal is the better grade, sometimes it's really hard and that creates frustration. If the goal is a better management, a better understanding of skills, guess what? The grades come with that. And so we have to you know, help them, and we do this as teachers, but this is a program that helps as well, to really focus much more on what you're doing as a student and less on what you have to know as a student. Right? And it's more about how do you do this well and how and in doing so, the content comes, confidence comes, and the grades come with it. But if the grade's the goal, that can be frustrating because they don't know how to get there. I know I want to get there. I know I have my expectations. My parents have expectations. My teachers have expectations. Usually their expectations are higher than everybody else's. Right? And, but if they don't know how to get there, that can, that can be the, probably the biggest cause of anxiety that we feel, academic anxiety. 